Experts from the Karisoki Nature Center in the tiny country of Rwanda in Central Africa were given the keys of a brand new four-wheel drive vehicle. They'll use it to patrol the land where the gorillas live. Terry reports. The sturdy new car built to drive over the roughest terrain seemed a little out of place on the tarmac streets in the heart of London. Dr. Alan Goodall, the head of the Karasoki Centre, wrote to the Prime Minister last year to ask her government to buy the reserve a new vehicle. To his surprise, Mrs. Thatcher agreed. MP Christopher Patton explained why. Because Karasoki isn't just helping with gorillas, which is important, uh, it's also helping to make sure that we can, in developing countries, use the land, use the forests, use nature without absolutely ruining it. The Karasoki Centre is famous all over the world for its work with gorillas. I asked Dr Goodall why the new car is so important. From the main tarmac road, it's at least an hour's drive up the mountain road to where um, we then have to walk into the forest and the other vehicle kept on breaking down and uh, we need something as reliable as a, a heavy-duty Land Rover. Tonight, a new cinema film telling the story of Karasoki's founder, Diane Fossey, has its first showing in Britain. She spent almost 20 years working with the gorillas. Sadly, she died three years ago, but some of the money from the film about her life will go to make sure that the work she started goes on. <laughs>